what is going on children terror squad oh man i'm messing up my intro i'm not doing it over we we just moving forward okay we we we're just going to move forward hunter hunter is back here again i'm going to try to do 3 or 4 episodes today back with another reaction it's your boy Terror by Reacts. Last four episodes, we got to see the beginning of this anime. And I have to say, man, it's it's slow. It's a bit slow. Um, as I said, I remember um, that one part that I've watched before. It's a slow start. And if you, if you guys know the history of this channel, I do not like slow starting animes. Like, I like to know what the um the agenda is by the second episode <laughs> you know what i'm saying like i love the how you know you get the point in episode one of naruto you get it like you know what the anime is all about like this one it's a bit like i i get what it's about now that i've watched four episodes right um still a bit slow could they could they could have condensed it a little bit more but you know you guys have have told me that you know it's it's um not one of the best but the best written anime ever so i'm looking forward to how fleshed out these characters are and i'm hoping that they spend time doing that because i love when writers take their time to do stuff also so because of what you guys said i'm not minding the slow start like i'm excited to come back and watch it because I love well fleshed out stories. So as you guys know. So um, so when it comes on to giving something a chance. It's all because of you guys. Why I'm back watching something like this. Or my history with One Punch Man. Like I started to watch it. And I didn't watch it back when it just came out. It was just way too slow and I didn't know what the point of it was. But I gave it a second chance, not the 12 episodes out. And it was beautiful, man. It was amazing. So, um, you guys don't have 100% trust, like, I, you know, at some point. But, um, I do trust you guys when it comes on to choosing animes and stuff like that when the majority speaks from the polls and stuff like that so when you guys say something about an anime i'm taking you at your word that this is going to be a great ride for me um so i'm not going to quit on an anime halfway through if it's you know the story's just getting good whatever the situation is like that's not me i'm not a quitter so i tend to like try to get through things as much as possible um it just doesn't have to bore me <laughs> if it bores me i will tell you straight up i'm not watching this anymore so but so far so good on the selections man i can't give you guys enough props as i've said if you guys watch the other um um reactions on the channel when it comes on to anime you know how much i love the fact that you guys have never let me down when it comes on to um the choices that you guys give me to choose from and we put them in the poll and they win the poll so so far so good in this anime man we got to introduce to, the, to these four characters that you see behind me right here which is gone Killua, leorio and um kurpika right kurpika i'm gonna try to remember those names because i realized that they're gonna be the main characters at this point right so they've all met. They all understand each other. And my computer is loading right now. And I don't know why. And I hate when it does that. <laughs> right? But anyway. So we got introduced to the four characters. We got Gun, Killua, Leorio, Kropika. Right? Um, they've decided Gun left, leaves home to go and do the hunter's exam because of his dad right his dad left him i don't even think he's ever seen his dad um so he wants to find out from his dad why he left him to be go it must be an amazing thing to be an hunter which it is so far from how they describe it 
um so far it seems like a pretty big deal right um so they have to take this extensive hunter's exam which so far is very fascinating to see what they have to go through just to to complete this thing so they're they're still in phase one i think and they're going through this swampy this swindlers swamp is that the name of it if i remember correctly that's where they are right now but leading to that they did this kilometer um run that they had to do bruh i mean right now <laughs> leori almost gave up Killua and gun just did it like it was nothing kurapika kind of struggled a little bit too um, but Gun and Killua, man, like, what are these guys made out of? They're kids, bro. They're kids, and they're doing, I think they probably did about 100 kilometers. That whole thing is prop, and they went upstairs, bro. Like, that's ridiculous. Like, you can't, that's why I said in my last review, I was talking and I was saying, that alone is a feat already in anime that maybe a lot of people overlook. But that is a really serious feat like there's no normal human being that can do that straight yeah you can run marathons i think somebody even made a comment about it under the under my last reaction too about how you know i think a lot of people are ignoring the fact that of what they just did like that's beyond beyond what any regular human can do like it's ridiculous you don't understand that that no human can do that like it's impossible that's an impossibility to do that straight they ran a hundred kilometers or 80 at least because i remember when when they said they got to 80 i think that's when the guy with the laptop fell over right so i do review i do reviews before you can go and watch a video. You, I, you guys gonna watch a video anyway. So uh, I'm gonna jump into these reaction, man. But I'm I'm curious to see what happens. Killua is still sort of a mystery. Don't know where he's come from. Why is he so already doing? You know, and it seems like he's on another level other than Gon Gondo because you know he has no interest. He's just doing it because he thinks it'll be fun. He's not even interested in, in, in finishing the Hunter's exam, right? So, Leorio has his cause. You know what I'm saying? He wants to become a doctor, but it takes money to become a doctor. Kurapika has his um, intentions against the fan, Phantom Phantom Troop, Phantom Troop, or what? However you want to say it, I think that I think I think that's what he said. Phantom Phantom something, Phantom Troop. I, I think that's what he said. Um, you know, so he, because of his, his eyes, his scarlet eyes or whatever they call it, his red eyes. So I guess we'll learn more about that as we go along the anime. I'm going to jump into these, man, and see if I could knock out these three episodes really quick. Um, um, if I have time to do another one, then I will, but there's no guarantee. So I'll see you guys for the review. Okay. See you guys over there. Yeah, so those three episodes were really good. Um, I know I paused a lot in that um, in episode what was it? Episode six. Um, there was a lot to learn in that episode, man. So I had to pause. I don't. I'm not gonna go over what I said again, but I do want to revise what happened in those three episodes, as in them getting from phase two um, and heading to phase three right now. Um, so as you know, they had to still go through the the. Um, what is it? The Swindler Swamp or whatever they call it. The nickname for it, I think it's Swindler Swamp. And they had to get through this fog while trying to follow the the, the, um, the instructor. Right? So, but some crazy things went down, man. I think they lost, I want to say like, I think it was like some like 50 some applicants they lost in, in, in the swamp. And it was crazy. But, but Hisoka was, was the highlight of the swamp. He was the highlight of the swamp because 
I don't know if this guy is a secret instructor or something. Like, I, I don't know. At this point, I'm not really sure because in the episode after that, they still, um, the, the actual instructor was still actually talking about Hisoka like he's an applicant. So I don't know. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not sure. He was talking to somebody on, 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 on a walkie, right? Or whatever they call that thing. He was talking to somebody that was like, oh, we are about to approach um, the phase two gate or something like that. So I don't know if it was the instructor that was what that was contacting him or or was it somebody else? Could have been somebody else. I don't know. Um, but he said gun pass and um, I think he, was, he said um, Leorio pass too, right? So. I'm not entirely sure what took place there, but the scene was just great. Him taking out those guys that was trying to kill him because they gave up. They was like, no way we're going to make it to phase two, so we're going to try to take you out while we at it so you don't come back to take the exam again next year. And Hisoka, he's sauce with the cards, man. He's I don't know. He's like a magician or, or, or something. He got some crazy moves, man. And then after he took those guys, after he threw the card into the guy's head to kill the last one of them, um, Leorio and Crew Picker was there. Um, they were there, and they didn't know what to do because they saw the whole thing went down. They didn't know what to do, so he was walking over to them, and. Kura Pika came up with a plan. Hey, if we run in two separate di directions, he'll have to choose to come after either either choose who he's going to go after or don't come after any of us at all. Which, to the way how Hisoka uh, his, his moves, to the way how he moves, I feel like he could have killed them both in that moment because they were running so slow. <laughs> it's like the way how he moves and his quickness, I think if he wanted to kill them, he could have killed them. So I don't think in that moment he really wanted to kill them, but Leorio came back because he was like, oh, great choice. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, so um, so Leorio came back, you know, he's like, bro, I'm about to give you these hands. I'm not about to run away. You know what I'm saying? So he came in with the whatever stick he had in his hand, uh, went after Hisoka, and right when Hisoka was about to hit him or whatever, gone... Um, Gon came in with the fishing pole and hit Hisoka in the face. Uh, so, so he stopped him in place, and then <laughs> he was like, "Oh, you got you know, what I'm saying turn to Gon." Leorio tried to hit him from behind and got uppercutted. Oh my God! Instant <laughs> Molly whopped. You know what I'm saying? So he got. Oh my God! That scene was so great, man. So great. Um, the comical way he hit it, he hit him and he was like tumbling in the air, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, Gun was there and Gun was still trying to hit him with the fishing pole. He tried to hit him, he was missing. Hisoka is so fast, man. Um, he tried and tried, Hisoka held him by the neck and let, and I thought it was, I mean, at that moment, it's just like, I'm not expecting Gun to die. I'm not expecting him to die. So in that moment, I wasn't worried that he was going to die. But it was like the fear of that scene. You can see the fear in Gunn's eyes. Like, dude, I never experienced anything like this before. Which is like after the episode, that's what the announcer actually ended up saying. So it's like you can see, and they're doing a very good job with the animation also. The facial expressions are there. You can see it when they actually zoom in on it. So that was great, man. That scene... He let him go, but I don't know what his agenda is. I have no idea, but he did take up Leorio and bring him to um, Phase 2, so that's pretty cool. Uh, so they got to, the, to in Episode 6, I don't want to go over it again. If you watch the episode, you can see how many life lessons is in there. I talked about it a lot, so I don't want to go over that again. But essentially what they did was they got to these gourmet hunters. You know, they were trying to disrespect these gourmet hunters. And 
in everything in life, I always tell people, respect people's process. No matter how they get there, they got there. Especially if you're aiming for the same thing. Like, you can't look at somebody's profession and be like, oh, you did, you, you, um, what I'm going to do is going to be better than you, even though we're going through the same process that you are, that he already surpassed and you are disrespecting the process that he had to go through that you are going through right now. It's just dumb to me. You know what I mean? So all in all, it was a great episode, man. I loved it. Um, episode six with the, with the gourmet hunters them going to find the pork the pigs and whatever and then she was disqualifying all of them because they were all doing the same thing it's like dude have a little creativity and that's what i'm saying like nobody was doing anything different the the all the pork looked burnt that dude that's that's with um the dude i don't know i don't remember the the gourmet hunters i don't remember their names but you guys know who i'm talking about the fat dude he's just eating because he loves to eat so he will pass them no matter what because he loves to eat. Plus, he was hungry when they came. So, you know what I'm saying? So she was just like being objective and be like, I'm not going to pass it because I don't see. She actually, Kuropika's um, pig looked different because she he actually brought a little bit of creativity. It was the only one she actually tasted, but it, it t still tasted like crap. So none of them knew how to cook, obviously. Cause they all was burning the pigs. So, and then this idiot turned up and said, Oh, there's only, there's, there's only one way to cook pork. I'm like, wait a minute, bro. That is such a naive statement. Now, now let me go down there now. You know what I'm saying? So it's pretty cool, man. Um, so what's his name? Netero had to come cause she failed everybody. So they had to get the chairman on the phone. <laughs> so he pulled up in the blimp in the airship or whatever they want to call it he jumped down like it was nothing you know i love old dudes in anime and in kung fu movies and you know what i'm saying like i just love old dudes because they're always like out of this world powerful anytime you see when it comes on to the asian culture when they introduce old dudes and anything they write it's just like you know this guy's gonna is 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 about to be off the chain powerful so i love that aspect of it so when i saw him i know oh this guy's gonna be sauce off bat so no worries so it turns out he's the chairman um and then she she um he told her that we can't fail every applicant this year so figure something out she wanted to quit instant respect um but he said no just administer a new um test and it was boiled eggs lost a couple more applicants there on on the over oh, over the cliff the what they call it the split in half mountain or something half split mountain or something i don't remember exactly what they called it but it was a crazy thing with these um spider eagle eggs or spider whatever man this this stuff is so weird like the names of the stuff is is so weird makes it even harder to remember because it's not like it's not like regular things not like regular the regular world that we live in so it's like it's crazy names to stuff spin on names with stuff you know so it was pretty cool so it's just crazy to see certain things that happen and how it turns out in this anime because this guy just comes on the scene and it changes so much about the anime just off bat and he's a new character so he took them on the airship after they past that part um bunch of them failed bunch of them died on that um you know because they couldn't wait on the updraft they're like oh, i can't wait on this thing spider web is gonna pop or whatever so they jump. they got they had to jump on it they, she asked take them on an airship to the, to the next phase of the exam which is phase three so only 42 of them passed i think um so they was on the airship netter road saw Kilua and go and sitting down and decide to challenge them and they took on a challenge because it's like hey if you can take the ball from me you instantly get the pass and become hunters so of of course we know that's not gonna happen because <laughs> it's an old dude he's gonna be sauce so it was pretty cool how you know that move that Kilua did um learning about his family that's crazy they're all assassins, so I'm guessing he's trained to be an assassin too. So 
And then he took out them two guys there after he left the room because he gave up. But it was pretty pretty cool, man, to see them go up against the old dude. Gunn didn't give up because he was like, I don't care about the ball anymore. I just want to force him to use his right hand, which he did. And then he fell right asleep. So that's where we are in that. I mean, I think they they um supposed to they they should arrive by the next episode to the phase three location so we'll see what happens man this was great this was great um watching these three episodes man hope y'all enjoyed the reaction um you guys have been tremendously supportive of these videos of this anime so far on the channel with the one video that i uploaded already um so i'm gonna keep going um so thank you guys for watching as always people are talking outside my door for some stupid ass reason people are having a conversation outside of my door yeah but anyways ah <sighs> Anyways, all right, guys. Um, I will talk to you guys later because this is pissing me off. But anyways, this has been great, man. Um, thank you guys for all the support. It's it, it's been great so far. So hopefully more people will keep coming in and and um and watching these reactions, man. Is this series looks like it's gonna be really good, like up to the standard that <laughs> it's gonna live up to the hype that you guys have on it so i'm definitely looking forward to watching more of this anime thank you guys for watching as always man remember to subscribe to the channel leave a like and also leave a comment in the comment section let me know what you think of these three episodes and as always man you are terror squad i am mr terabyte react and i will see you guys later peace uh...